Logan Kane here, and this is episode 7 of Shadowgate. So let's try and mess with this thing. Alright. That we discovered. Last episode. Yes, 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 yes. This is another of the wizard's mechanism. You need to arrange the crystals in the correct pattern. You know, I think we've seen this pattern before. Lines of color ranging from black to red. I wonder if I need a lot more crystals than the two I already have. So I can put the black one there. And the white one there. That didn't work. And the white one there. I don't know if I put it there. Well, that did something. That did not. Ah, screw it. There's a lot of other stuff to do. I'm just gonna take my crystals and go somewhere else. Alright, we're here again. I guess we'll go through this cave. Oh, there's a titan sticking out of the ground. And some sort of wizard getting ready to raise it. At the far side of the cavern, a figure adorned in, the, in robes and wielding a staff chants a spell directed at a massive rune-covered wall. The air of malevolence is almost palpable. Alright, so we got this guy and we got this guy. Let's take a look. Ancient stone statue lies within the chasm. You wonder what cataclysm buried such a massive sculpture. With a shrug of your shoulders, you genuflect towards the statue and pray the Warlock Lord doesn't see you. Yorick comes to life and says, you'll pray to just any old thing, won't you? The figure across the cavern levels his staff at the wall and lets loose a burst of energy. So is this the Warlock Lord, then? Rogue figure gestures wildly, chanting in an arcane tongue that shivers down your spine. The wave of hatred and malevolence that embraces emanates from his dark wizard is almost palatable. This must be the warlock lord himself. Well, let's stab him with a dark. A dark? You advance on the dark wizard with murder in your heart. The warlock lord seems to sense you and raises a hand before you can launch your attack. He fires a bolt of energy that slams right into you. The only and last thought that crosses your mind is what a terrible first impression that was. You have chosen poorly, young Jer. Is that my name, Jer? Well, let's resume. Blah 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 blah. Did I talk to Yorick about this? Warlock Yorick will not be easily overcome. Circle of Twelve possessed artifacts of great power. You should return to the castle and seek them out. Such artifacts can mean the difference between victory and ruination at the times ahead. Yeah, I was kind of worried I was going the wrong way. Come on. And back. And back. Come on. Oh wait, no, I went back and I ended up here. I'd want to go down the stairs. Or down the ladder. Because so we went up that ladder. Well, we went down one ladder and then went up that ladder. And then there's tar there. Thinking of the tar, what does Yorick have to say about it? I guess I was going to where the Warlock Lord is. And that is not a good idea. Let's go this way. I don't think I went this way. Up, oh, this is the one that ends. Well, let's try the other one. Hmm. 
wonder if I require the water elemental here. Nothing in here. Yeah, I want to check all those tunnels I was refusing to check before. Alright, this is the quartz one, so one more back should lead me back up the balcony. And it does. What was this way? Ah, uh, yes. Well, we have more stuff now. Maybe she wants a loot. Ooh, maybe she wants the root. I never did look at the stone tablet. Stone tablet has various glyphs carved in it. Several symbols resonate with you. A hand followed by a pointed star and four vertical lines. Oh, hand, pointed star, vertical lines. Got it. Nope, nothing there. Still don't know what to do with the statue. I don't remember. That. Yeah, that was the middle one. Let's go this way. That's not where the party was? Locked from the other side. Okay. Yep, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to knock. Hear a faint voice ask, what do you want? Huh. I guess I'll need a third pumpkin. So I have a hat, and I have a mask. Uh, tricks or treats. Tricks or treats, you say, in the loudest, in your loudest voice. Yeah, it sounded real loud, didn't it? He just sounded completely depressed when he said it. Hello. Tower chamber is empty, save for a... Strange gilded mirror resting against the far wall that hums with power. I forgot about the. I forgot about these. You do a double take in the reflection. Your costume could pass as a witch dressed up for a harvest festival. All right. Well, let's walk into the mirror. Close your eyes and walk purposefully into the mirror, and the smooth surface gives way and blackness overtakes you. You close your eyes and walk purposefully into the mirror. The smooth. Oh yeah. But a brief moment, you're transported somewhere else. A forlorn and eerie field, strewn with pumpkins as far as the eye can see, opens up before you as you stand before the strange circle on the ground. You have a disturbing feeling that someone, or something, is watching you from the shadows. Circle. Replete with dizzying array of strange swirls and archaic symbols has been scorched into the earth. A curious hum seems to emanate from him as well. I believe this is where I place the pumpkins. With some effort, you slip the dirk into the pumpkin. At once, your hand feels possessed, gilding the knife, skillfully creating a jack-o'-lantern, complete with a scary face. I probably shouldn't have come here until I had all three pumpkins. Lick the sockets. The skull glows with otherworldly light. Probably all worthless. Let's take a look at them all anyway. And that's it. As you look over, over, overly long at the flaming eyes of the skull, you get the sense that it's laughing at you. Ooh, what's this? Tattered white sheet has numerous holes and cut through. You wonder if it's kind of... What kind of blockhead made this costume? You attempt to put the sheet over your head, but the fabric is too shredded and tattered to wear. Good grief. 
All right, it's my satchel now. Too difficult to read. Grave marker looks freshly chiseled. It reads, remember that as you pass by, as you are now, so was I. As I am now, so you must be. Prepare for death and follow me. It's actually pretty cool. Barely make out the name Lenore. Chiseled in the grave. Chilling, a rail... Chillingly, a raven from nearby tree calls nevermore. Edgar Allan Poe, huh? The words inscribed on the gravestone read, Beneath this simple stone, my precious one sleeps alone. And the chiseled words are faded beyond comprehension. But you think you see the letters R.I.P. and the name Ace Harding? That must be a joke. Or inside thing. Chiseled inscription on the tombstone reads, Here lies Draken, protector of the Blethany Gem. For a moment, you contemplate digging up who or what was buried there, then common sense kicked in. You discard that ridiculous notion. Alright, I think I've done everything I can possibly try to do here. Let's see what happens when I walk backwards. Okay. I need one more pumpkin. Come on, go back. A little glitchy at times with that. Alright. Well. I don't remember where to go. And I think I just remembered where to go. I want to go to the place where the darkness chisel was. What did I just say? Did I say darkness chisel? I still think this has some use. A rock front filled with stagnant, discolored water is attached to the wall. I want to do something with it. Eh. Here we are. I get the feeling that even if I do make... Even if I do get the darkness to go away, it'll be bad. There's absolutely nothing to the darkness. Yep, darkness does not care. Well, I don't know what to do now. Again. Maybe I can go call that raven. Okay, this is where the she-wolf was. I guess it was the top of one of the other towers. Come on. We'll get here eventually. Nothing to say, really. Just running around. In fact, I'm probably going to stop soon and just start looking around. Alright, shall we try our spells again? The creature responds with a roar of greeting flying towards the tower parapet. Or parpet. As it nears, you realize the winged. What? You realize the beast is a wyvern. It said wyvern several times. Early. Whatever. A winged dragon. Replete with the riding saddle, you gape in amusement. Amazement! As the creature fans its wings, hovering just over the edge of the tower. It glares at you, letting out a cry of challenge. The winged creature is fabled wavering, and hovering over the edge. A bit nervous, poised to take flight at any moment. Alright, Yorick. Looks as though the traitor has been neglecting his beast. I wonder how long it's been since it was fed. As soon as he said neglecting, I was thinking, well, I want to give him the steak. 
You throw the food at the wyvern, and the beast immediately begins to gobble it up, oblivious to everything else. You carefully sneak close at the, to the distracted dragon. As gently and quickly as you can, you remove the amulet from the beast's neck. Well, I wanted to ride him. Okay. The large glowing jewel resists, rests in a setting shape as a starburst. It is surely the legendary bladed sun. All right, well. All right. Well, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the angel statue again, see if I can put the star in her hand. And here we are, and nothing happened. Just tried it, what you expected, nothing. Suppose there's all those glyphs that I still need to get. Have I really explored this one? Yes, I have. I'm at a loss of what to do other than mess with that crystal game. But I get... I just can't... I can't think, apparently. I just can't imagine that I don't need more crystals. So what do I do? There's a door here. That's what I do. Alright. Let's get on with this. Oh, here's the library. Must contain thousands of ancient tomes, books, and manuscripts. Thick coating of dust covers everything. The pages are blank. How does that saying go? Never judge a book by its cover? Whoops. Although you struggle with the poor penmanship, you read on. I am honored to have been selected by Fr to document the workings of the circle. The newest in initiate is a young man with an inquisitive nature. He has taken the name Lakmia and intends to study the origins of time, although his mastery is yet to be chosen. The High One mentioned that Lakmir is not from his line and thus cannot be groomed to become head of the circle. Rather, the new initiate was chosen from an unorthodox scrying. Performed by Telimar, I do not trust that, one, he has ambition and a hunger that does not sit well with a member of the Circle. You know a scholar or two would give everything, anything, for even a few moments with the ancient books on these shelves. I feel the movement of air coming from behind it. Step something strange over here. Shelves are cluttered with books of varying shapes, sizes, and colors. The accumulated knowledge of this place must be truly staggering. But this book right here. Oh, look at this. There's my empty book. That's the one I want. I'm gonna close that book. I'm gonna use it right here. Eh, it won't fit. Huh. Well.
close the book with one hand. Cloud book was it? Ah. Ah. Ah, go away. You bastard. Did I press B for books? No, I press B for back. Let's go back over there. All right. Oh, I can press A. There we go. All right, Yark, what do you have to say? How hard is it to put things back when you're done with them? Still, I propose a rather exceptional book. Dang it. Close that book. And use it. Nope. Well, there's one more book in the area. The book is bound in a pale white leather and secured with a locked metal strap. The name is written on the spine. So I can't open it, so I guess that's the one I use over here. There we go. Notable click, the book slides into the slide as if it was made to be there. The book comes out a few inches before suddenly stopping with a click. The low rumble follows and the book shake to the right shakes a bit. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to happen. Now let's move on. Oh great, fire pits. If you are a hazard guest, you'd believe this hidden room must have been a wizard's private study. Several fire pits are set within the floor. This room glows with power. It is firmly attached to the stone floor. Truly, this must have been... <sighs> well, time to start casting spells. What is us? Oh, I can talk to things? Huh. Interesting. But how do I go to spells, then? All right, we got one, two, three. You know what? Screw it. Four, five, and six. And we're going to go through them all. Nothing. Nothing at all. This round orange item has found a place within the cluttered room. Oh. Got the last pumpkin. I can go do that now. I was trying to look at this thing. In the pile of logs. What about these? Odd markings cover this log. Look familiar. Use the log on that. Okay. Let's use it in the fire. What? Use log on fire. You roll the log into the fire pit. The flames immediately leap into the air in the most supernatural way. Oh, hello, baby. With a crackle and pop, the fire elemental appears in the room, playfully flitting about the enchanted fire. Yeah, that's about right. What happens? The very second I choose to unequip my silver orb. Alright, silver orb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now hopefully I can light up that frickin' room. There's a brief struggle before the artifact successfully pulls the entity inside. The surface of the orb now radiates with an intense heat. Alright, I'm good here. 
I'm gonna go back to that dark room. Which is this way? Was it this way or this way? I think it was this one. Right, that's the locked door. Actually, I need to do this one anyway, so... I, I don't know if I need to. Go into it! Blah, 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 blah. Now, the reason I knew this, I remembered one of the books I read. It said, put the pumpkins in there and carve them up. And that'll do something. Alright. So now what? I don't know what to do now. Well, shoot. I know it was one of the scrolls. I'm just gonna go over this real quick. Not gonna bother reading everything I look at, of course. I'm going to be looking at just about all of them. Control the elements. Bring three pumpkins to the place beyond the harvest door. But be wary, for only one outfitted in a mask for the hallowed eve can gain entrance. There you must carve my visage and illuminate the sacrifices in the field of jack-o'-lanterns. Then I'll be freed... And this will end cordially. So I need to illuminate. Does that mean use a torch, or does that mean use one of these here spells, like Flamoris? Just use it. Let's try the torch, then. And light the candle. There were candles inside? Where'd the candles come from? Watch this kill me. As you light the last pumpkin, a cold wind begins to swirl. Within moments, a strange howling fills your ears, like that of a distant baying hound. A tremor flow follows, splitting a rent across the diaphragm and releasing a flock of agitated crows from within the avian. The avian storm, a malevolent being, rises and towers above you, crackling in delight. Surely this is the dread pumpkin. With a short shout, with a shout, I am free! The fam- The flaming monstrosity disappears in a cloud of flame. As your senses slowly return, you can't help but feel a little robbed. Why didn't you even get a present? Let alone all that candy you expected. You blockhead. Hey, congratulations, you've earned Rookie Pumpkin Hunter Achievement. Is that all this is, is an achievement? Does this one still laugh at me? Yep. Whatever. That's right, we were going for the dark room anyway, right? Is that this one? Nope, this is not the dark room. Come on, stop opening the frickin' thing on the other side of the screen and use the back arrow. What, was it this one? No, this was Tamir's. Or Tamiel, whatever his name is. I guess, yeah, this is it. Let's go. Ooh, that's cool. It changes color. I didn't notice that until this one. You pull the sil you pull the silver orb out from your statue, point towards the darkness, and release the fire elemental. And release the fire elemental. The singularity pierces the blackness with a burst of flame, chasing the dark energy from the room. Oh, look at this! I have no idea what to do with this. A large area of the wall is cracked and destroyed. 
Circular plate glows with power. Must belong to the wizards. Destroyed and cracked. Several cracks in the wall large enough to reveal something hidden behind. You attempt to dig into the crack to grab hold of what's concealed. However, the crack needs to be broken open wider first. You land a punch on the rock wall, but the wall refuses to break any further with your feeble blow. Well, let's try this. Swing the hammer in a loud crack and land a solid blow, loosening the stone and revealing a concealed metallic object. It's like a bugle. You pull the luminous metal artifact from the damaged wall. Power flows from the instrument and courses through your fingertips and up your arms. You know beyond a doubt this can only be the platinum horn, the legendary relic of summoning. Okay. That's that. Now what, York? Would not have placed so many powerful runes throughout the castle if they did not have some greater purpose. Perhaps you should take them for yourself. Alright. Well, how do I take it? Well, that didn't work. Can I, I don't know, use the horn on this? Hmm. The only way I see myself being able to take it well, maybe this does it. Huh. Oh, I guess P is spells. I guess I can't do it yet. The battle has been painted in the mural. One between two opposing armies in the foreground is an encampment, highlighted by an ancient tree that lifts its defiant branches to the sky. I do like the music. I do like the Shadowgate music. It's it's based on the original. And it's great. Did I try lighting this thing on fire. Nope. No good. Trying to think of where to go. Maybe the statue will... Uh, the statue's not this way. The statue is this way. And maybe the statue will let me put the one of these instruments in her hand. For this thing. Well, unless I go back into the the Barty room and play all the instruments and this one. But I can't imagine it would let me pick up all the other stuff if I needed to use them in that room. So this goes down towards the wizard. That's not where I want to go. Well, I really don't know what to do, so I'm going to call it quits for episode 7 of Shadowgate. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy.